Hi guys, my name is Shamik, and welcome back to the series of Git screencasts. A powerful feature of Git and other distributed systems is syncing your work with others. Therefore, in this video, we will talk about the commands that help you in performing the sync. We will first talk about getting the work of others from other repositories and merging them with your own work and then move on to the commands that will help you push the commits that you have in your repository to others. As with the other videos, there are a few prerequisites for this video too. I would assume that you know the basic git commands and what are branches in git. I would also assume that you know the basic usage of github that is registering on the website and creating repositories as I will be using GitHub to demonstrate how the sync process in Git works. One of the most powerful features of distributed version control systems is the feature of syncing between projects. As you might remember, multiple copies of the same project called repositories are maintained in a distributed VCS where each copy is complete with its own project history. The greatest power is that any of these two repositories or copies of a single repository can sync changes among themselves. We will now see how the sync process is facilitated in Git. Before we move on to the process of syncing your changes in Git, we must first understand what remotes are. A remote is basically a link to a copy of a repository. Remotes in Git are identified by names. For instance, the origin remote refers to the repository from where you cloned your current repository. A remote has two parts, uh, the protocol and the path to the repository. There are, there are many types of protocol, some of which are SSH, Git and HTTP or HTTPS. In this video, we will be dealing with SSH protocols. There are certain basic remote commands to add remote or list the remotes in your repository. Let's have a look at them in the terminal. Here is a repository that I have on GitHub. Let's try and clone it. These are two different paths that Git, GitHub provides just in case you want to clone in a different protocol. We will be using the SSH protocol. I have copied the SSH link from GitHub and now we are going to clone the repository. As you can see, the repository is being downloaded onto my local computer. We will go ahead and skip the download process. The download has finished. Let us now check into the repository and see the list of remotes present in it by default. This particular command lists the remotes in a repository. As you can see, the origin remote uh, is present in this by default after cloning and it points to the particular repository in GitHub from where we clone this repository from. Coming back to the GitHub page, you can see that my repository is again a copy of this particular parent repository. Let us now add a link to this parent repository from our local repository. As usual, we will copy the SSH link and add a remote in the terminal. To add a remote, we use the remote add command. Let us name this remote as upstream and followed by the link to the repository. Checking the list of remotes again shows that the new upstream remote has been added to the repository. Moving on, how do we synchronize or get the work of others into our own repository? Uh, in Git, we use the pull command, uh, which is equivalent to a combination of the fetch and merge commands. The simple command here is git pull followed by the branch name. We will also look at a few other modifications of the syntax in this command. To understand what happens during a pull operation, let us look at 
a conceptual situation. Imagine my current master is at commit C, whereas in a particular uh, repository, there, there is an extra commit D. Let's say we pull from the master branch of upstream. After the pull, this is how the particular uh, master in the local repository would look like with the D commit appearing uh, on top of the C commit. Let us look at this in a terminal. Before we pull the changes, let us see the history of our current local repository. Uh, the latest command, as you can see, is this particular commit, which shows that we committed missing minified file. Let us now pull from the upstream's master. The pull has completed and all the latest commits have been pulled. Let us now run the same command to check uh, the latest comment, the latest commits. In this case, the latest commit is update readme.md and our last commit could be way below. There are further uh, options using the pull command. In our case, we just pulled from a remote and branch which is signified by the third command that I have shown here. You may also run just git pull which would pull from the origin repository to your current branch. If you specify a remote name, as in the second command, it will pull from the particular remote that you have specified to your current branch. If you specify remote and branch names, it would pull from the branch name of the remote to the same branch name in your local repository. However, if you want the changes to be pulled from a particular branch name in remote to a different branch name in local, you need to put the fourth command which is shown here where you are mentioning a different local branch as well as a remote branch. Let us see this in action. Before we pull from the master again, uh, I'm just going to show you that I have uh, added, a, I have created a new branch which does not have the latest commit from the master. I have named this branch branching out. Let's pull from the master of the upstream to see how it's actually done. So the command we'll write here is git pull upstream, which is the remote. I want to pull from the master of the upstream to my branching out branch. As you can see, after the pull, the latest commit has been updated to uh, the one in upstream master. Moving on, the next command that we are going to discuss for synchronization of your work is git push. This command helps you when you are trying to send your commits to some other repository. It is only possible if you have write access to that repository. Often, new contributors are given only read access specially in open source projects and their code is merged only on review by some other contributor. The simple command here is git push and the further modifications are similar to the git pull command where you can specify the remote name, branch name and local and remote branches. The idea here is very similar as in the git pull command. Assume that your origin is at a certain stage and you have an extra commit in your local branch and you want to push it to origin master. After the push operation is completed, this extra commit D appears ahead of the commit C in origin master. Let's have a look at it on the terminal. Earlier, we had pulled from the upstream master to our local master branch. Let us push the same changes to the origin master. 
git shows that the changes have been pushed to the origin master let us verify the same on github as you can see uh, on my master branch these new commits have arrived which i have just pushed an interesting application of the syntax of the git push command is to delete a branch on the remote you do not have to physically go to the remote and delete a branch but you can just send an empty branch to your remote branch in this modified command the local branch is empty whereas i'm sending it to the remote branch and the remote branch gets deleted if i have write access let us see this in action as you can see there are four branches in my github repository and one of them is fix search let's try to delete this branch to do so i need to push to my origin an empty branch and that needs to go to the fix search branch uh, git shows me that the branch has been deleted let us verify this on github as you can see the fix search branch is no longer available with this we come to the end of this long video up next in the series of screencasts i would be discussing a few more advanced commands like cherry pick squash and stash i would also be talking of git workflows thank you for watching this video see you in the next one